Hello everybody, it's Marie from Skeletorama again. Welcome back to my channel. Give it a house of how is everybody? So I'm um, doing good. Um actually have a tiny bit of energy after my uh, work day, so I figured I need to start working on the bottles so we can finish the desk, right? Because that's pretty much what we've got left on there. So I have all my stuff here um, for it. So these are some different beads that I picked out. Um, I do jewelry as well, so I've got a huge stash of beads. So what I did is I kind of went through um, my bead stash and I would get like from Fire Mountain Gems, they have the, it's called the Boss's Bead Bag. It's like this big, huge, I don't know, assortment of beads. It's like, I call it the floor mix, you know, kind of like the Haribo when you get the star mix, we call it the floor mix, like everything that fell on the floor. <laughs> it's like all the extra little bits, right? Um, so it's just this huge variety of things. And so there's a lot of um, beads that will lend themselves to becoming part of bottles. So I have those. Um, and then I also did, just so y'all could see, I went to Hobby Lobby um, and I got these on sale because I get everything on sale because that's how I am. And these are also ones that are conducive to having bottles made out of them. So, I mean, these are a little fancier, kind of like you would see on a, a dressing table, perfume bottle sort of a thing, but they still make good bottles. Um, and if they're not going to make good bottles, it's because they're going to make good bottle tops. So, I have those. Um, I also picked up a few more of the um, different kind of bead caps. These look kind of, you know, bottle top-ish or whatever. And I have... Of course, my stash of metal um, bead fixins, whether they're spacer beads or bead caps or what have you. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make some bottles to go on um, the shelves in here. So I was watching a movie the other night, which I've seen hundreds of times. It's the uh, Terror of Mecha Godzilla, right? And it features, and, and I'm going to, if I can, if I can dig up the clip, I'm going to put it in here because it's like the best cinematic death in all of, all of cinema history right here. Ah! Ah! Yeah. So like, wow. The, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> It gets me every time that scene. I just, you're not supposed to laugh at somebody's death, but, but yeah, I, I have to laugh hysterically at that and think that somewhere out there, you know, Mrs. Johnson's fifth grade production of Hamlet probably had a much better death scene enacted than that. But okay, you know, it's, it's a Godzilla movie. But anyways, as the aliens come to make her into a cyborg or what have you, you know, sorry, I'm giving spoilers away to a 50 year old movie, but, um, they go past one of Dr. Mufune, which is her father, uh, one of his shelves. And it's real similar to this. It's just, it doesn't have doors on it. And it's got the bottles and things in it. And I'm like, that's perfect. Because he is a mad scientist, right? Because he's a scientist and he's really mad um, at this point, which is why he helps them do fix up Mechagodzilla and all this stuff. Um, but he had the bottles in there and, and some little sciencey stuff too. So I thought, oh, see, that, that will work. So what we'll do is we'll make some bottles. Again, these shelves are kind of small. So while I will be making some bottles that don't have a shot <laughs> at fitting in here, I can use them for other things, right? So the example I'll show you is the potions cabinet that I did um, that goes in that same room. And so these are them. And if you look, these are all beads with other beads on them and then little labels on them. Um, I did use some of the Tim Holtz um, carry bottles, what have you, in there because they would fit in here. They're not going to fit in there, I can tell you that right now. Um, so we'll we'll do a bunch of bottles and then the, the little short ones that'll fit, we'll, we'll start stuffing them in there. And then in theory, hopefully we can get the desk um, finished and all the little bits put in there and, and dressed uh, the way we want it. I've got, this is the stuff we had made the last time with the scrolls and the fancy scrolls and the packs of letters and all that. And I've also got some of the other stuff that was maybe good for the desk, like the shell or the uh, ammonite fossil. And these are the ones that when I did the historic books, um, which is the video, miniature video just before this one, I believe. Um, so these will be going in there as well. And of course, there was all the little desk stuff um, for that too. So we'll be kind of putting those in little piles, um, figuring out what to do maybe with the frame. The frame might fit in there. Let's see if it'll fit. Will you fit, little frame? I hope so. 
Oh, just barely. But yeah, we'll do it at an angle or something. I don't know. So we'll figure this frame out. Um, and yeah, we'll get this all dressed up and nice. And oh, we have the candle and the um, quill and inkwell thing to go on there too. Um, and then after this, it will be working on trying to make this out of wood, which will be very interesting um, considering the doors. <laughs> yeah, it, it may be that the one made out of wood does not have these doors because I can just see what's going to happen when I go to cut the inside piece out, and especially when I try to cut this one out. So that'll be a treat. We'll see. We'll see how that works. So anyways, um, that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm just going to snip them off here and dump them in here with these. Yeah, sure I am. Nice. Oh, I hate it when they do that. You don't have to secure every bead, guys. Come on. They always do the, t the first one and the last one. It's just the most annoying thing ever. So anyways, I'm going to cut all these free, get these dumped in here, and then we will start working on some bottles. Okay, so now I have those all separated off, and they are in here, so we have a lot of stuff to pick from. And so for the actual labels, um, we're going to use the ones from both the kit, um, the one that, that we use to make all of the scrolls and everything that's on Etsy, and I'll have the link for that below. Um, I have some of them already cut up in here. So I'm not, I'm not going to make you watch that. But um, I do have some from other different kits and things um, that I've collected over over the years too. So, whoopsie. So we have all these little labels. So we just kind of make a big pile of those. And I mean, there's some, look at this. Like how ridiculously small is that, right? That was fun to cut out. Um, it would be even more fun to find to stick onto something. But so we have our labels over here. And so we've got our bottles. So let's find some... I know these make good bottles. These are fluorite, um, and they're nice and clear, and sometimes they'll kind of have a purpley look to them or whatnot, square. So we'll grab one of those, one of these fancy ones. Um, the, the glass beads like this also make really good bottles. So let's see. Get one of these, and then one of these. One of these round ones. Okay, so first, obviously, you need to find the base for your bottle. Um, I want some of the big round ones. This one, I think I, I took most of my stash of the nice, cool-looking round ones um, for that. Let's see if I've got any in here. This one's kind of cool. This one. That should do for now. These ones, I mean, they do kind of work, but they've got the sort of sparkly on them, so they're they're kind of iffy. Oh, there's one. This one's kind of nice. Okay, so we have our little bottles here, and with some of them, like the teardrop-shaped ones, obviously they're going to be kind of hard to, to stand up. I mean, they will, but they're also going to be real prone to turning over. So those ones we're definitely going to want some bead caps um, as a, a footed base for them too. So I'm going to pull out a few different little bead cap spacer bead things that might be useful on here. And these little small spacer beads, these are saucer beads. Um, these make great tops. So put some of those over there. And I'll kind of fast forward through this part as I put stuff over here because it's going to take me a minute to pick them out. But. All right, so I've moved the camera down because, you know, mine doesn't have a zoom feature that functions. Um, but this way you can kind of see these a little bit better. I'll put some of these in my hand so you can see them. So see, there's all kinds of different sizes, little beads, little bead caps, um, things like this. So these will go on there as well. And then now I will go through this one. Of course, I'll fast forward that again because we've got our, our bottles. Now we're going to want some sort of a top. Sometimes you can use you know, the beads as a top, like this one here will work. See, so that looks kind of cool as a top for it. And trust me, <laughs> if I stick it on there, it'll look cool like a top. Um, but a lot of times I use beads as well, so I dig through and get some of those. Oh, 
Okay, so that should do us for, for a minute here. So we've got our bottles, we have our potential tops, and then we have our accoutrement, <laughs> whether it's going to be, you know, kind of a, um, a thing for it to stand on or, you know, a top in itself or, or what have you. Oh, where's those other new ones I got? i grab one of those too. I get those. That's the whole purpose I got. All right. So attaching these together to make them into a bottle, you need two things. You need super glue. Um, I do like the Loctite super glue because this is a gel, um, just like the Gorilla glue gel, which I love as well. But this one, you kind of squeeze it to put it on there and you have a lot of control over it because you don't want to have a ton of super glue, obviously. Otherwise you're going to be wearing these for a while. Um, and then tweezers. You have to have to have to have tweezers. Um, there's really no way around it. So and actually I usually grab, let me grab another pair. Yeah, because if we're dealing with say a little small one, it's it's pretty easy to be holding this and then get the, the super glue on you instead. I, I wonder how I know that. But anyways, so easiest thing in the world. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick one of these. Let's do this one. I like this one here. This will make a nice bottle. So we're going to go, okay, do we want maybe a spacer bead between that and the cap? You know, so this would probably look kind of cool. Um, you know, if we want to get a little bit more height on it, we can do something like this, you know, where it goes up. Um, if you really want it to look more like a bottle thing, I mean, you can use that. This is a cone, um, so it's, it's designed where you've got usually multi-strands necklaces, um, and you put them all through there and it kind of ties them and unifies them at each end. But they make great bottle tops because now this is very bottle shaped. But does that look right on there? Eh, sort of. Not really though. Um, where's the smaller ones that I got? There's a smaller one and that's probably a little too small in scale. And it's gone now forever. Okay. Oh, what else do I have? I have these ones. We'll see, that looks good. You know, so we can take one of these and then we will pick out one of the tops. So again, now you have a choice. Do you want it to have the big fancy one? Again, you want it to be in scale with what you're doing. You can have like this gold top. That looks good on there. These ones I'm kind of uh, prone to. These are more of a bicone style shape. So think two pyramids stuck together at the bottom, but they make really good bottle tops, right? So that looks kind of cool. This is also a good chance if you've got a bunch of like weird beads that you don't use, it's a good way to use them and get rid of them, right? Because you can make something cool out of it. So I think that one scales too big on that one. It's too bad. That would have been cool. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of like the gold one, even though this is silver, I think it still kind of works. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's move this stuff here a little bit. I have to have to hope my mirroring software doesn't crap out on me like it likes to do so I can make sure that you're seeing what I'm doing. Okay, so I have this one. This one I'm going to go ahead and hold in my hand because it's not, it's not too bad. I'm going to open up my super glue. Super glue will fog um, when it comes into contact with glass or plastic or anything like that. So you want to use it kind of sparingly. Um, so on this, since that's going to be the metal bead cap that goes around, I'm going to put a little bit around the edge. And the gel is nice too because it, it's, number one, it's not going to just flow everywhere and, you know, run down your hand and stick you to everything. It gives you a lot more control. And you do have a little extra second with it. So I'm just going to put it there and I'm just going to wait just a minute and just let it set up. It's not instant um, like you would think. I mean, the, in order for it to have its full hold, you, you really need to leave it like 24 hours, honestly. Um, and you need to try to keep your hands out of it. We'll see if I do. I, I promise you I will stick myself to something somewhere during this video because I always do. Because I just, yeah, just how I roll. Okay, so now we're going to put the little top on there. So again, just a little bit of the super glue. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Of course not, because it's all fuzzy now, but um, just the tiniest bit. 
And now it's definitely important to use the tweezers. You're going to grab your bead. And we're just going to set that up on top of there, just like that. You know, once you've set it up there, you can kind of maneuver it a little bit, make sure it's centered. And so we have our first bottle. So I'm going to sit this down here and I will do another one. Let's do one of the square ones. So these are kind of fun. Um, so with the square ones, you know, obviously putting the, the big round thing on there probably wouldn't work, but I do like to use these ones. So this is a spacer bead here. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of thin and it's it's got the hole in it, but it makes a nice collar um, to hold on whatever bead. And it's it's especially helpful if you're using, say, a bicone where um, you know one end of it's kind of pointy, it, it kind of gives it somewhere to seat in there as well. So I think we'll use this one on here. So same thing, super glue. Just a little bit. And we'll grab this spacer bead and we're going to sit that right on there. Make sure it's where we want it. And then figure out which one do we want for the top. No, I didn't quite go with it. It's probably going to end up being that one, I think, that I grabbed the first time. So put some more glue kind of around and in and, and you know a little goes a long way with super glue too so you don't have to go crazy with it but yeah half the fun is just picking the stuff up with the tweezers <laughs> to get it in there oh oh there we go see see it's fighting me okay I'm just gonna hold that for a minute and let it kind of grab and we have another bottle Although that's kind of large, isn't it? That's fine, we can pull that out then. Here, we'll use a smaller one. Put the super glue back on here. Because again, you do, you have a second to move stuff and change your mind. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Put that one there, and voila, and we will sit this one over here. So I'm going to do um, more of these. I'll do it on fast forward um, so you don't have to watch me hem and haw over, you know, what the tops are going to be or whatever, but I'll do that and I'll come back to you and we'll put some labels on.
Okay, so as you can see, um, it can get very, very fiddly. And um, did I stick myself to things several times? Um, yeah, it's always fun. So <laughs> some of them like this one stuck to my desk. There we go. Um, so it's this one again. <laughs> get off of there. All right. So we have some here. So we're just going to let those sit up for a little bit and dry. And then I will be back with you. I'm going to put some of this stuff away. And we'll put some labels on some of these. Um, you know, as you notice, they're not all standing up perfectly straight. But we can fix that when we put them in, you know, whatever they're going to go in. Um, is where you can kind of tweak that a little bit. But yeah, it's it's fun. They look really cool. But man, you just want to chuck them through a window sometimes. So anyways, see you guys back in just a second. All right, so we have our little bottles. They've had time to kind of set up here. There's like 11 of them, I think. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. I know a bunch of them are going to be way too tall to fit in here, but it's fine because I've got other stuff I can use them for. So we'll just put our labels on them, which is the next step. So um, we'll just grab one, we'll grab this one. Um, so as you saw when I was struggling through those, sometimes the beads, um, aren't really conducive to standing up on their own, so you do need to kind of give them something to, to support them. Um, and after much fighting with the other stuff, this, this was the piece that worked. So we need to figure out what we want to put on here. Now, ideally, I would have a round one for it, but I don't have a round one. So we'll have to see what the next best thing is. So let's take a look at some of these. So maybe that might work on there. That's kind of round, oops. Yeah, the other fun part is, you know, trying to pick up these tiny labels. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's always great. So, I mean, that one looks kind of good on there. So we can use that. So if I conveniently put that down, yeah, uh-huh. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your label. And actually, this one feels a bit like cardstock. I kind of want to go with, yeah, with a lighter one. It's the same one, but... Um, so we're going to use PVA glue on it. So you just put a little bit of the glue on the back. And what the PVA glue will do, since it's the water base, um, it will also kind of make the paper conform a little bit better to whatever you want it to do, right? So I'll just put that on there. Kind of press it down. And then conform it to the shape of the bottle. Okay. So there's one. Oops. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end up knocking the top off of at least one of these, I promise. Okay, so we'll grab this long one here. And so this one by nature is, since the bottom's not even, it's gonna sit kind of slanted. So we're probably not gonna want to put the label on this side here <laughs> where it's you can totally tell it's leaning. So we'll pick probably this part here. So it'll be leaning sort of away from the view, but it'll look straight. Um, and I do have some here that are kind of tall and skinny. That would be perfect for on that one. So let's lay that down and grab our label. And again, put some glue. You don't need a ton, um, but you know, you do want enough, obviously. And we'll just put this on here. And this one, we can put this kind of up towards the top since it's nice and long. Um, and the other fun frustrating part is, yeah, you're, you're going to knock everything over at least 15 times, you know. But we also have these little teeny weeny ones here. So let's take, if I can pick it up, because seriously, come on. Irritating. Let's go. Wrong one. Don't want that one. I want this one. There we go. You, uh you insert name that I can't say here without bleeping it out. All right. I thought I had it. I totally thought I had it. Come on. Jesus. All right. I need that, you know, music like from Benny Hill. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be real old to get that reference. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here and we'll work quickly before I drop this stupid thing again. And the print is tiny, so here's hoping it's right side up. It looks right side up. Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell. We'll put this one at the back of something. 
And I'll put this little extra one on here too. And just kind of straighten that up a little bit before it's totally stuck. There we go. Okay. And voila. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the rest of these here. Um, so with these ones, since they're round, we can get a slightly larger one and kind of wrap it around. So maybe something like this. Yeah, that looked good. Okay, just lay that down. And get a glue on here. So these are really easy. Um, again, uh, the hardest part is the, the frustrating part of getting them put together and then cutting out the teensy weensy labels um, and then grabbing the labels in order to put them on. So it's easy but fiddly, right? And then as far as finding the beads for them, I mean, the best luck I've had is, is honestly with those, those assorted beads. Um, because it's just, I've looked on Amazon and tried to find, you know, two beads or rectangular beads or whatever. And it's just, you have so much crap, you know, that comes up in the, the selections that it, it would take you forever to sift through it and actually find what you want, which is annoying. Um, so let's see this one. Does that go on that or is that a little too, that's a little too big for that. But I might look good on this one. Yeah, looks good on that one. <clears throat> but you know, you can look, um, the bead assortments that they have at uh, Hobby Lobby and Michael's and those places are also a really good place for those. Just kind of look at them and, and think, would that make a good base of a bottle, you know. The, the top, the ones you would use for the top are, are much easier to, to source than the, the actual bases of the bottles themselves, seems like. And then of course these little bead caps and things, and those are everywhere, so. There we go. So I will continue on with this. I'll probably fast forward through it, I think just because there's, there's quite a few of them. without it going completely out of focus but 
Okay, it's just that easy. It's just the little labels and kind of matching the labels to the style of the bottles and that sort of thing. Voila, you think, you know, autofocus would be a thing on the camera, but apparently it's not. So, but anyways, there's those. All right, so I will let the labels kind of dry on these. Um, I may make a few more of them and then I will come back and we will start putting some stuff in the actual um, desk and see if we can't get that all decorated up. So I've moved the camera bag out a little bit um, and made a few more bottles here. Um, and so these are the ones and they are too tall. So I am going to set these aside. Obviously I'm not going to like chuck them in the trash or something like you're too tall. We don't need you. Um, because I have a fun project that I want to do with these after I finish what I've started, God forbid, um, with this and then making it out of wood, but I want to do an altered Altoid tin apothecary. So I'll do that a bit later on, but, um, anyways, so I, I did a few more bottles. I also did some of the books, um, in a size that will actually fit in here just for sort of filler. Um, and the, the shelves are slightly different sizes. So the bottom shelf's a little bit taller. So I was able to do, um, some books for that. And then this will be for the top shelf. And then I've also got, of course, got to have a skull, right? So I've got the skull here. So we can actually start putting some of this stuff in here. Woo. And then I think I will be, um, once we're done gluing this, these shut just because, I mean, they just, uh, you know, with just the one hinge, it, it, they kind of lean and it just, I don't, I don't like it. It just screams failure, but that's okay. Um, we can glue them in and, and that way it'll be more secure anyway. So what I do when I glue the stuff in is I generally will use my tweezers and, um, just, uh, like Scotch tacky glue works the best for me. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah. I think I'll do the books. Well, no, I better do them individual because I know if I do them in like a, a little pile, it's going <laughs> to, it's not going to work out right somehow. So yeah, I just put a little bit of glue and then I'll put a little bit at the bottom and a little bit at the side here like so. And then grab a book and just kind of put it in there, keeping it kind of towards the front, you know, so it looks a little bit better. And so I will kind of go fast forward and apologies. I didn't notice until I went to adjust my lighting about the huge thing on my hand. I had to have some surgery done and um, I don't do well with IVs. So it's going to look like that for a while. It's probably going to look worse here soon. But um, oh, and I also took from one of the kits, the um, historic books kit where I did the little portrait and I cut one out, um, an extra one out and put it on some chipboard to make the frame higher and I've put glossy accents in it so it's going to end up looking kind of like glass this stuff so that is currently drawing but that's going to go up in here as decoration as well so let's see um yeah so I will start putting books in and I think I'll put this glue in here so back in a sec okay got the glue filled up this will, you know, you don't need a ton of glue to hold the stuff in place. And, and when you use it from the, the larger thing, it, it just seems to waste a little bit more. But, you know, again, put a little bit there, a little bit there in the two spots where it's going to touch next to the other book in here and just keep putting them in. So I will do the books and then I will be right back. our little books in there and I'm fairly sure they're all right side up but luckily they're small enough where you know chances are you're not gonna be able to figure that out um, and the reason I did you know extra books for up there is just because there's not a ton of the bottles so um, I just wanted to make sure that they um, didn't look ridiculous I don't know <laughs> oh. okay so let's see I'll put the skull in there. 
Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, Horatio. Okay, so. I don't know what it is with the skulls that inspires really bad Hamlet recital, but. Put him in here. It's like a little. Oh, what do they call those things that I don't have because my bookshelves are stuffed to the gills, so I don't have room for them? Bookends. There we go. He's a bookend. Okay, so we're going to have him here. So I'm going to give this just a minute to dry. Um, and I'll be right back, and then I'll start putting the bottles in as well. And they're going to go in the same way. They're going to have um, the glue, but I will give that a second. I'll be right back. All right, so since I'm not the most patient person in the world, um, in theory, that's that's had enough time to just grab. I just want it to grab enough so that as I'm tilting it so y'all can see it doesn't go bloop, which is I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do with the bottles. And there could be swearing, but I'm going to fast forward it so you won't be able to hear it. All right, so with the bottles, I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit on this card here, and I'm just going to kind of like dip them in. Probably be the easiest way to do it without having just a metric buttload of glue business all over the shelf. And, and buttload is an actual measurement. Um, a butt was used to measure wine, I believe, or something. I don't know, but still, technically it works. All right. So with these, um, I'm just going to take it with my tweezers and dip it in the glue. So you got, I mean, you do want kind of a decent amount of it on there. And then I will, I'm sure, smear it all over the, yeah, I did. And I dropped it. Dear God. Really? <laughs> wow. So, hey, um, it dries clear. <laughs> Thank God for that. Jesus. All right. And that's one of the easy ones. That's flat on the bottom. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I did that with the glue so I wouldn't make a mess. Can you see this? Look at this. Jeez. Okay. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way here because I know this is going to just make my head explode. This particular one because it's... <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's give the clumsy girl things to do. God. All right. Let's put that there and let's just kind of spend 20 minutes getting you to stand upright. Okay. I'll leave that there. And then we'll do one more, and we'll let that, that back row dry. Oh, God. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, and I'll show you how, how that looks once the, the glue is, has grabbed it a little bit better. And, yeah, I'm just making an unholy mess. This is great. Okay. So, yeah, don't feel bad. Again, you know, that's why I leave my mistakes in, because nobody's perfect. And, and I know a lot of people do stuff, and, and, they, and I heavily, heavily edit mine as well, because, I mean, you've seen how long it takes me to do stuff when I edit it. You can just imagine. So, um, but, I mean, a lot of people will edit that stuff out. I don't know why, because it's a natural part of things. And, and by God, if you want entertainment by somebody jacking everything up that they possibly can, you've come to the right channel, I'm telling you. Okay, so let's put this one kind of towards the front because it's pretty. See how I, if I drop it, am I going to drop it? See, now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm totally going to drop it. Or maybe not. All right, get in there. Do not even start with me, with your being just slightly too tall. You will go in there. Okay. We're just going to angle this guy towards the front here. <laughs> Because it's just, oh, it's just a, as they say in Scotland, it's a ball hair too tall. But at least it'll kind of look okay like this, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully it better because that's where it's staying. Okay. Let's see. Go with one of these. No, let's go with one of the talls. You kind of want to go, you know, obviously tall to, to short so that uh, so that you can see the most stuff, right? Because that's the whole point of it, is, is making all the little cute stuff, and, and you want to be able to see it. So, get these here, and let's do a few more. Because I might have enough to actually put a couple on this, this shelf towards the bottom. So I am kind of trying to grab the taller ones that I don't know whether or not they'll fit on this bottom, I mean middle shelf. 
as good. Not like any of them are, you know, making me proud or nothing, but yeah, it is what it is. And it doesn't have to be jam-packed, you know. It's not not necessary. And there's there's pretty much enough glue where I, I shouldn't necessarily have to put glue on this, but I'm gonna. Okay, so we'll put you right in the front. Maybe one more small-ish. Yeah, this little squatty one. Is that too big? That might be too big. I'll put this one. This one's pretty. They're all pretty. And I'll put that one towards the front. Okay, so this one, I am going to let these kind of dry a bit. Um, and then I will be back to you and we will do round two with the bottles. I'm sure that'll be uh, a, a ton of fun. So be back in just a minute. All right, so our stuff has had time to dry now and I would like to welcome you back to part two of Disaster Peace Theater wherein I try to glue stuff in there without making an ungodly mess um, and I will fail. But anyway, um, as you can see, the glue has dried clear. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't look like the big huge mess that it was before. You can't even really tell. I mean, it's a little bit shinier, but and you'd really have to look to, to see that. So yay! Thank goodness for that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do these other two shelves. So what I've got is I have the picture. So the glossy accents has dried and see how it gives it kind of that shine like a, there's glass in the, the picture frame in there. And I've just taken a little triangle of the um, chipboard and, and sort of made like an easel for it. And then I also have the ammonite fossil and I've done the same sort of thing because it's going to need something to to kind of prop it up because there's no way I'm going to glue it, you know, right on the edge of that. So we've got those, we've got some more bottles, we've got the books, we have the larger books that are going to go in there on their side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward through putting um, the stuff in there. Just know that, you know, when I go to do these decorative elements, you see how I've got the skull here. I'm going to want to kind of offset these so they don't all end up in the center in some kind of weird line because naturally it would be that way. Um, for the bottles, I'm going to want to have them on this side of it and then the fossil and then some other stuff, you know, what have you. But just so it kind of looks balanced. We want chaos, but we want balanced chaos, right? It's very zen of us, isn't it? So anyways, that's what I'm going to do. And then um, once I get that stuff in there, we will come back and take a look at it um, and see if we need any more filler for in here. And then if not, we'll get on with doing the rest of it. And this should, in theory, be done after this video. So wish me luck.
All right. So I will very gently kind of lean this back. I'll, I'll show you better when it's completely full, but now we have our bottles, we have our books, we've got our pictures and things like that. So I'm gonna let this um, sit to the side and set up a bit. And what I'm gonna do now is <clears throat> start getting some of the stuff prepped to go on the desk. So we've got our um, stuff that we made the last time with the scrolls and everything. So I'm gonna take the regular scrolls and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, you know, glue those into sort of a pile. Just to make it easier to put them in there and, and move them around and things. Um, we've got our books from the other thing. We have our desk stuff from this. And then we've also got tons of leftovers from the original um, kit that we used to make all the desk things. So, you know, if we need extra stuff, we've got it. So I will fast forward as I'm getting these little piles and things ready. Um, and that'll give us a chance to dry a little bit better. And then hopefully I'll be able to come back and, and show you a much closer look at how the top came out before we put the doors on here and glue them shut because they're just such a hot mess. So that's what we're doing next. So I've got everything kind of in little bundle type things. I've left a few things loose here and there, but um, for the most part, they're they're done in little bundles so that they'll they'll look kind of messy. But it's just easier for me to pick them up and put them in there. So I'll let everything kind of set up a bit, um, and I will join you back, and we will get all this stuff in there. So yay! So this stuff should be dry enough where I can show you now. So now you can see the um, cabinet in here. We've got the books and the extra bottles and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, so when we close these, it's going to look like so. Um, you can still see most of the stuff in there, um, but it's it's going to be... I think I'm going to glue these down just because I, I really don't like the way they hang on there. We'll see. Haven't haven't committed to that completely yet. So now we're going to do um, these parts down in here. So these are sort of dry-ish. Um, so we're going to have these down in here. We do have some of the books that will go in this way. So I'll probably do a couple of the books in there along with the scrolls kind of towards the back, I think, maybe. Um, and then on this shelf we can do the... got a couple of atlases, atlasi, atlases, whatever. Um, <laughs> we'll use different books, I think, though. So do maybe a couple books. And we've got... Um, yeah, the newspapers. There's there's way more stuff here than than is going to be necessarily put on the desk. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do these bottom ones here, I think, first, and then we can concentrate on the part you're really going to see, which is going to be this top one up here, and that's where you know a lot of these little bits are going to go. And I made some of these smaller with the um, postcards and the cabinet cards and things, just because I know I've got this little small spot here, so they can kind of maybe stack up in there. So anyways, I will put it on fast forward as I start to glue more things down. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, actually I think we'll do the, the books and things down here because they, I've got like four of them that'll fit. So we'll do four books I think across and then two sitting on top of each other and then the scrolls can go up top here with some of this other uh, little business so that's what I'm gonna do yeah You can kind of see them. Um, they're all the way towards the back. So I am going to put some more um, of the papers and things in front of them just once we get the top done so that way I know what I need. Um, so if I need to I can make extras out of this stuff here. I'm um, just kind of filling the space. So on the desk we have to remember that we've got the candle thing and we have the quill thing that need to go in there. Um, so I think I will start with these ones up here at the back. And these are the ones that I did the, the different small invoice looking pieces um, to go in there. So let's go ahead and get those glued. the papers. You can kind of see them um, in here a little bit. So we're going to let those set up a bit. Um, they're stacked you know, fairly high, but you can you can kind of see at an angle, you know, what they are. Um, so we'll let those set up a bit there. And I think for the scrolls, we want the pretty scrolls to be fairly visible. Um, I may put this 
one down here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I think I'm going to do, you know, the newspapers here and then start stacking some of these um, up kind of towards the back. You know, just like if it was a messy desk and you had a bunch of stuff where you were kind of working, but you were still, you know, uh, kind of just throwing stuff there, I guess. So, get this on here. And that's where it helps to have these, you know, in big chunks because, you know, we, when we folded them and glued them, we did it very loose so that they would have some kind of, you know, bulk to them. Um, and just kind of help sell, you know, the fact that they're a, a messy stack of papers. Oh, let's see. Let's do, this is the largest one, so we'll put that in there. So it's like, yeah, he's trying to stay kind of organized, but you know, not doing so good with it. With these I'm going to do kind of like they've been scattered a little bit you know over the desk because these are flat so they're not gonna get in the way of um, putting anything in there but they'll add some kind of character to it a little bit and then I am leaving a space here for the uh, you know, the ink pen Type stuff. I think I'm gonna have the candle over here because you know it's a great idea to have this candle with all this paper, but <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Kind of makes sense on there. Or we may leave it off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. folded letter you know obviously on the top and I'm just gonna do like that part and the top edge um, just so it'll kind of retain its folded shape but be you know nice and secure And so regardless of whether these get glued shut, I can now put this down um, because it's not going to interfere. The, the candle will. Um, so it's the other reason I was kind of, eh, kind of torn on it. Okay. I'll just add a little bit like over the top some of the wire just to kind of hold it down good and then of course we have these scrolls here which I'm not sure that I want to put on there because I don't want it to mess that up so here's what we're going to do we're going to let this stuff dry a bit and then I will come back to you in theory for the last time before we're done with the desk um, and then we'll decide where we want these I have a suspicion these are going to go down below just because they do make more sense. I mean this one I can maybe get away with putting it here. Um, and you know what I think I will because I really want these on the top. They're very pretty. And just because I made that one doesn't mean I have to use it too. I mean I can I can always use it in the, um, the rest of the lab or I can put it on one of the other desks or you know just do whatever I want with it but there we go. So we've got our nice messy desk, all kinds of glue. In theory, some of that glue is touching something else, so it'll stay stuck down. That's always the hard part. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to let this stuff set up, and then I will come back to show you how it looks here in just a few minutes. All right, so everything's had a chance to dry. Ah. And here we go. So this way I can show y'all a nice close-up. So start at the top here. So we've got all our bottles and our books 
Um, these are from the regular book cover kits that I have on Etsy. This is from the historic ones. Um, the labels are part of the one that has all the maps and the charts and everything. So I'll put links to all that stuff um, down below. But we've got our other part may do kind of an angle so you can really see, you know, you can see that it, the picture is on the top and, and it looks real, it looks like real mess. Um, I didn't put the candle on there because part of me is like, you know, I'm not really sure where I want it. And the other part is like, you know, it doesn't, it looks like a flipping birthday candle stuck in a friggin' metal thing. So, eh, I mean, there's electric lights in the house. I mean, it doesn't need a candle, right? So the candle is going to be over here for now. So. Um, and then the bottom part, what I did with the other scroll, you can see I put it here. So it's kind of leaning against here. I'm trying to find a way to... Oh, there we go. Um, I haven't put anything else in here just yet because I was thinking it might be fun to make like some parcels or something. It's not going to drag this out to another part. That'll just be kind of either I'll do it or I'll show you guys how to do it, how to make little boxes, whatever at some other point in the future, but yeah, I'm going to put, I think, some other little stuff in there. And of course, these are the historic books, and I went ahead and used the spare atlas um, and put it kind of on its end just to fill this gap. So that's where we are now. The doors I have not glued shut. We will leave their um, fate in, uh, you know, I'll, I'll worry about that later, I guess. <laughs> There, there had to have been a better way to say that, but I'm tired. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we will leave the matter of their open or closedness and abeyance for the moment. Because um, I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to maybe have it where, you know, maybe them being wonky is not so bad. Because, again, Mad Scientist Lab, you know, and yes, it's a very nice, you know, fancy piece of furniture. But then again, Mad Scientist Lab. So, you know, it being kind of wonky and, and crooked actually kind of works with it, I think, maybe. I don't know. Or I'm just rationalizing it. Who knows what the hell I'm doing. All right. So anyways, it will go into the house just like this, um, into the mad scientist lab right next to the work table. And I think it looks really cute. So I'm really happy with the way it came out. And, and I love all the little bits um, that are on the desk. Those are probably some of my favorite parts. And, you know, if these weren't glued down, you could see if you flipped it over that, you know, it adds the back and everything. But yeah, so this is our bottles from today. These are the extras. So these will be featured in an upcoming video wherein I show you how to do an altered Altoid tin. There we go. Um, and make like a little apothecary one. They're really cute and they're really super easy um, way to use those tins. So anyways, that's, that's what I've got for you for now. So we will do um, the can we make this out of wood? At some point, I do have a couple of the, apparently have trouble talking. Um, I do have a couple other things that I do want to do, um, miniatures wise, that may jump ahead of the, the wood version of this. So, because um, I've got those swords and a bunch of other stuff. So, we will see what we do. So, anyways, I will um, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.